Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we're making smoky vegan mushroom bacon. Y'all, this toothsome vegan bacon packs a huge flavor punch, and it is super easy to make right in the oven. This is one of my classic recipes that needed new photos, and I thought while I'm taking new photos, why not also create a video for it? Let's talk about making that bacon seasoning. When you break bacon down into its kind of component pieces, you've got greasy, smoky, salty, and sweet. And then of course, texture wise, you want it to be chewy in the middle, but like a bit crunchy on the outside. You can achieve all of this really easily with mushrooms. Mushrooms naturally, when you cook them up with a bit of oil, get that crispy outside and chewy inside. So then all you have to do is bring in those flavor components and you're ready to go. Start with a five ounce package of sliced shiitake mushrooms. You want about eight inch thick pieces. My package actually came pre-sliced, which was great and made everything really quick and easy. Add your mushrooms to the bowl and then you're going to add all of your bacon seasonings. So toss in a tablespoon of soy sauce. You can use a gluten-free tamari if you need to use gluten-free ingredients. A teaspoon of maple syrup. You can substitute agave nectar if you prefer. Half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Don't worry, liquid smoke is available in most regular grocery stores and it's not a weird artificially flavored ingredient at all. The way that they make it is by actually burning wood and then capturing the condensation that that creates and that's where they get that liquid smoke flavor from. For oil in this recipe, I'm using a tablespoon of olive oil. You can really use any neutral flavored oil you like. I just like how olive oil tastes. Now just use a spoon to toss everything together and you just wanna make sure that the mushrooms get really well coated in all of the flavoring. So really toss it well, maybe for a minute longer than you think you need to. Once the mushrooms are nice and coated in all that bacony flavor, just spread them out onto a lined baking sheet and then use your spoon to spread them into a single layer. The single layer is really important because that's going to ensure that everything cooks evenly and you get nice crisp results. Now it's time to bake. Toss that baking sheet into the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until your mushrooms turn nice and crispy. Serve your mushroom bacon up anywhere that you want to add a little bacony flavor. Toss it onto a sandwich. You can serve it alongside just egg or a tofu scramble for a vegan breakfast or brunch situation. I like to use it to top cheesy stovetop grits, which I'll have that recipe coming for you in a couple of weeks. It's also great on top of salads. If you do have leftovers, just store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator and you can either reheat them in the microwave, although they won't maintain that crispiness. You can also just toss them in a pan and saute them up with a little bit of oil to warm them or warm them back up in the oven. Just throw them on a baking sheet again and bake them at 350 for about five minutes or so until they're heated through and crispy again. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make this smoky vegan mushroom bacon. If you have any questions that I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking.